Okay, so question five says to rank the following compounds by standard molar entropy from highest to lowest. Okay, so first let's define what entropy means. So entropy is a measure of molecular disorder and basically just the randomness of a system. So when you have a system that has a very high entropy value. This means that its uh, forward reaction is spontaneous. So when we have a standard molar entropy, This basically means the entropy of one mole of a pure substance under a standard state. Okay, so just a, another point I'd like to add with standard molar entropy is that when you have a larger and a more complex molecule, these tend to have a higher standard molar entropy. Okay, so because of that point, what we need to do to answer this question is to find all of the different molar masses of each of these compounds. So finding the molar mass of a compound is generally pretty easy since these values uh, can be just found on the periodic table and we just have to do uh, some ba basic math in order to figure out uh, how to calculate it. So for example, the molar mass of N2 is just equal to two times the molar mass of nitrogen. Since there are two atoms of nitrogen in N2. So the atomic mass of nitrogen, again, can just be found on the periodic table. It's 14.01 grams per mole. So this gives us a total molar mass of 28.02 grams per mole. We can do the same thing for our next gas, which is just hydrogen gas. So this is equal to two times the molar mass of hydrogen. And hydrogen is the lightest element, and it just has a molar mass of 1.01 grams per mole. So its total molar mass is 2.2 grams per mole. 
And then lastly, we have bigger compound C2H4. which is just ethylene, I believe. So this is equal to two times the molar mass of carbon plus four times the molar mass of hydrogen. So carbon has a molar mass of 12.01 grams per mole. And again, hydrogen is just 1.01 grams per mole. So its molar mass has value of 28.05. Okay, so now we can rank these compounds um, from highest to lowest standard molar entropy. The ethylene has the highest entropy, followed by nitrogen, and then lastly, hydrogen has the lowest standard molar entropy. Okay, so let's see what the junior tutor said. There are two aspects of the molecular structure of a substance which affects the value of its entropy. One, the degree to which the movement of the atoms and molecules in the structure is restricted. The less restricted the movement, the greater the entropy. Two, the mass of the atoms and molecules which are moving. The greater the mass, the larger the entropy. So therefore, since ethylene has the largest molar mass, followed by nitrogen and then hydrogen, the rank of highest to lowest standard molar entropy is C2H4, followed by N2, lastly H2. Yep, so the solution is correct.